been a while. Yeah. You wanna make a vid? What's going on guys? Hey guys. Christian and Michael from Broke Ventures here. Welcome yeah. all 70 subscribers. Nice we to are see growing you. rapidly. Oh uh, yeah, so today we're coming at you with some content. Uh, we're gonna be making this kitty cat stove. Awesome. Stay Let's jump gentlemen. straight into it. The kitty cat stove is actually only made using three key components. That's carbon felt, a tomato paste can, and a fancy piece can. Um, it is extremely reliable. We've used it a countless amount of times and only requires two ounces of fluid to get a cup of water boiling. So let's get started and clean off our workstation. So, first thing is you gotta take your tomato paste can and your fancy feast can and clean them out. So good. I like them. These bumblebee tunas are great trail snacks. So um, good. Yeah, we got somebody washing the kitty cat food out the right fancy now. Feast, but, man, yeah. These tunas, we really recommend getting them for the trail. Real good. Now to the garage. These are the tools that you're gonna need. We do this so that way it just reduces the possibility of you cutting yourself. It is pretty sharp. Uh, it's not necessary though, so I guess if you're an edgy boy, you can skip this step. Next thing up is taking your tomato paste can, and if it has ribs, you're gonna drill five holes on the bottom rib. If not, you measure uh, two and a half inches from the open side down. So I goofed and uh, I drilled four holes equally spaced, not five, but it doesn't really matter. You just need those holes in there. So the hole that we just drilled is uh, a ventilator hole. So that way when you set your pot on top, of the tomato paste can, it has somewhere for the gases to escape so you do not blow up and die. All right, so here is our sandpaper. Uh, we are gonna lay it on a flat surface and basically just take the thing and just send it up back and forth. Oh yeah, keep going, keep on getting it, ready to go. Cool, guys. All right, guys, so this is the Dremel grinder wheel thingy that we're gonna use the, I don't know, the, the mushroom tip. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put that on the Dremel and we are gonna sand them holes out. All right, so now that you uh, have the fine details and hard work done, we're just gonna cut the carbon felt, which is probably the easiest step of this process. So we're gonna cut a uh, two inch by seven inch square of carbon felt. Square, rectangle, whatever you wanna call it. Wow, nice cut, Christian. Now is the time you've all been waiting for, to shove it all in. Wow, a stove. All right, now it's time to run your uh, stove without anything on it. This is to burn off all the wax and everything that comes on the can. Um, yeah, so like two or three ounces will be just fine. You just pour your uh, favorite alcohol in the top. We're using heat. 
<laughs> yeah, don't breathe that. Um, but the uh, carbon felt acts as a wick and it pulls all of the alcohol to the outside. So you have an even heating um, on the stove. You see it kind of flared up there? That's all the vapors coming out of it. May take a little while to light the first time, but just give her patience. That's a good shot where you can see all the uh, insides kind of burning off and whatnot. So it is pretty important to run it uh, with, you know, before you actually take it out in the field. Well, boys, that's a good sign that this video is coming to an end. Be sure to uh, leave a comment on what you guys want to see coming up. Be sure to subscribe and be a part of that rapid growth we got going on. And as always, head out here.